Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Hard Count. I'm Mike Lee Mom, and I recently had the opportunity to interview quarterback Reagan Andrew of Mary Institute and St. Louis Country Day School. Andrew is a member of the 2022 class and currently stands at 5 foot 9 inches and 180 pounds. His highlights will show he's a prominent dual threat that can navigate the pocket well and has solid arm and uh, terrific awareness. Andrew's also a multi-sport athlete, and he also plays baseball in addition to football. We talk a little about that and more on this episode. All right, everybody, here is Reagan Andrew. Hope you guys enjoy this one. So tell me a little about how you've developed within uh, MICDS's program. Obviously, I remember you started there as a freshman. You played uh, in the state championship game at a very young age. I believe it was like either 14 or 15 years old. Um, how have you developed from uh, then until uh, today? Uh, yeah, so you know, I was 14 throughout the whole first year of my season. At that point, you know, you're just a, you're just a kid that happens to get thrown in. Um, and I think... We were so successful that year because of the senior leaders we had, um, you know, and that was a great group to look up to and to get the opportunity to play with. Um, and they just kind of um, demonstrated kind of how the program is supposed to look like and kind of the mentality you need to have to be successful. And so that kind of helped me uh, just kind of know what needed to be done. Um, and the next year, you know, I just kind of wanted to start building my legacy that, like those ones a senior had and just kind of build off them. Um, and unfortunately, my season was cut short with a injury last year. But um, going into this year, it's much the same. Just kind of continuing the, continuing the tradition of MICS football and um, trying to now, as an upperclassman, pave the road for those underclassmen who look up to just the upperclassmen in general. Very cool. And obviously you've come a long way since uh, that time in November of 2018. It's obviously um, 2020 now and you're, you're, as you said, you're an upperclassman. And so um, what I'm seeing a lot in your film is you definitely like to run the ball. You like to do a lot of option keeps and uh, you have good speed with that. Um, and I also noticed that you play uh, baseball as well, a very good baseball player. And I've interviewed some other kids who uh, also play baseball. How are those two sports for you? Are they interchangeable? Do you often uh, get, get some experience from both of them at the same time or... How was that experience with you playing with both sports? Yeah, so um, I think being a just being able to play two sports is huge, especially in high school. You know, you just gotta keep kind of that physical ability able to go. And baseball, I think, is a huge mental game. Um, I play in center field, so it's just it's not um, like I think they go interchangeable because. Fit, Football is kind of that physically challenging game where you have to have that mental aspect, and baseball is almost completely mental and where it's like that mentality where if you go three for ten, that's Hall of Fame worthy, but those seven times you don't get a hit, like that's kind of – like that takes a toll, and it's the ability to kind of bounce back from that and just be able to keep going. Right, right. And uh, I kind of like how, um, obviously, you adapt well to pressure. You're good with uh, even a good offensive line. Obviously, you've had a solid offensive line throughout your entire career there at MICDS. But um, I can even see that you could make um, very, very well with the program involving your arm. You have a good arm for that. And obviously, I could see that from you playing outfield, too. But um, when you talk about what are, who are your kind of you, the people that you look up to within the program or in life or in general or, or in your family? Who are those kind of people, your role models? Who are those individuals? Yes, so I think with the program, I've always kind of those older players, whether it was the seniors my freshman year or the seniors now and the juniors and seniors from last year, I think it's just looking up to them and see how they go about their business and um, just kind of learning how to learn from them, I, I suppose, and just kind of um, be able to continue the tradition. I think tradition is a big thing in MSCS and just being able to keep that going is huge. Um, family wise, you know, my mom and dad have always been a big part of my life and they've supported me no matter what. Um, I'll say that like they'll do whatever they, whatever I need and they're going to support whatever decision I make, um, in my life. And I think also my older brother, my older sister have been a big part in my athletic career. Um, just kind of always competing with them, right? Um, my brother just graduated college, and he was a high, successful high school football player. And 
just I was the ball boy for his high school team when we lived up in Minnesota and just kind of watching him play the game kind of drive drove me to kind of continue on this path for as a football player and just get to experience that um, high school football scene and my sister plays basketball at Yale right now and just kind of seeing her thriving the college level kind of pushes me and like always having that competition as siblings is I think is huge. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool, Reagan. Obviously, you can tell definitely you come from uh, an athletic family. That's very, very cool. So, um, obviously, it's going to be your uh, or this is your first year under Coach Bouchard, right? He came into the program after uh, Coach Buha left. Um, so, what have you kind of been going over with him? How has you kind of what's your kind of relationship with him at this point? Um, you know, me and Bouchard have always, like right from the start. I think we kind of clicked. Um, he's had a long history of having really good quarterbacks. So I knew that coming in and I was just went in with kind of an open mind and just pick his brain whenever I can about this or that and just kind of trying to learn more about the game and how to be a successful quarterback. So I think that was huge as for him to come in and just kind of take over and he's been able to teach me a lot this year. All right, cool, cool. And so, um, obviously, when you look at uh, academics, MICDS, very rigorous program, very rigorous school uh, involving um, academics and schoolwork. Uh, how do you balance those two things involving athletics and academics? Yeah, so, you know, for me, it's always been academics first. And the coach, at, like a lot, all, every coach at MICDS stresses that because they kind of, like you said, academics at MICDS are kind of hard and stressful and can add up if you get behind so they're always like academics first if you're late to practice because you needed to get extra help like you need to do that like it's important to uh keep up with academics because in the long run that's going to be more important than your football career so i think academics have always been a huge part for me and have always been important in my family just to kind of stay up to date with that um, obviously you've been in involved with this program for quite some time, a couple years. And so you've adapted well, as I can see clearly in your highlights. Um, uh, have you been in co uh, communication with any college coaches or any college staff or anything like that? Obviously we're past the deadline for uh, junior year. So have you talked with anybody at this point? Um, at right now it's kind of like, it's been hard for me to get that going because last year, you know, my season was, I had a very small season because of my hand injury. Um, and then this summer when I was and like leading up to the season, trying to get to camps was really difficult because of the COVID restrictions. So I think this year is going to be really important to me, or at least what we have of the season, um, to just kind of do what I can to get some film out there, do whatever I can to help our team win, um, and just kind of get that recruited jump started, I, I would say. Right, right. And then uh, one kind of final question here involving that. So are you, um, so what are your kind of your goals, what you're looking to accomplish at this point in your career? Um, I think, you know, ever since my freshman year, falling short in state, you know, that was obviously one of our best runs in a while. Uh, and it was an amazing year, an amazing team to be a part of. Um, and I think just getting back there and winning the state championship is my main goal and doing whatever the team needs to get there. Right, right. Very, very cool. And then one kind of final fun question here for you. I just generally ask this just for everybody, just for fun. But if you were to get drafted by an NFL team, what'd be your preferred team you'd want to get drafted by? Oh man. Um, I think, uh, moving here from Minnesota and just kind of having a couple of years there in Minnesota. I think if I was drafted by an NFL team, I'd, think the minnesota vikings would be where i would want to go awesome awesome all right well thanks so much for coming on reagan i really appreciate it all right thank you all right thank you very much all right see you thanks all right, everyone, that was Reagan Andrew out of MICDS in St. Louis. If you'd like to contact him, his Twitter account is at ReaganAndrew1, and I'll be sure to po uh, post his highlights below as well. If you'd like to contact me, my Twitter account is at ImamiMichael, and my Instagram is at TheHardCountWithMichaelAmi. Be sure to give those a follow. And also for your parents, be sure to uh, check out the Facebook page at the Hard Count with Michael Ami, and be sure to um, go ahead and uh, have them take a look at that as well. And subscribe to the YouTube channel too. That'd be greatly appreciated. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Special thanks to uh, Reagan for coming on. This has been The Hard Count. Do you have what it takes to go D1?